basically not quite nine. Most everything's packed up. Did laundry, got stuff charging, got stuff charging, toiletries, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm basically just getting ready for bed. I pack all this stuff up and go to sleep. Got New Mexico day three completed and a good chunk of day four edited. Wasn't able to get them uploaded because the Wi-Fi was being an absolute pain and otherwise just kind of hung out. Relaxing day, got my permit for the Navajo Nation for tomorrow. So I will be able to go off road. I really don't know what's going to happen once I cross into Utah. There's still quite a bit of snow in the northern sections. Basically, once I get past an area called Current Creek, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I, I may end up taking basically a week off and just editing footage and kind of taking care of logistical stuff before I'm able to complete Utah and then maybe move up into Idaho. I don't know yet. We'll see. I mean, I'm not in any rush, but I would like to do Idaho and Washington before I need to come back over to South Dakota for the Dakota 600 in mid-July. So that gives me all of June and almost half of July to do those, to do Utah, Idaho, and Washington. But I don't know yet. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Uh, I kind of think Oregon's not gonna happen just because I know they're now coming out with an Oregon BDR early next year and the existing ORBDR that the Off-Highway Vehicle Association created is kind of a mess. So I just don't really trust the GPX tracks that I have for it. I don't know. We'll see. Get into Utah. I've got to try and avoid Moab for Memorial Day weekend, which is next this next weekend. The goal will be to either hang out and wait or blast through and stay somewhere on the other side of Moab because I don't want to be in the area of Memorial Day weekend around Moab. It's just going to be a nightmare. That's the plan so far. Things are going good. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of finally getting into a little bit of a system and it does feel like I'm doing something cool. <laughs> um, I've run into more people in probably the last two weeks that have known about my channel and know what I'm doing than any time previously, so that's kind of neat. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> that's where we're at. I'm gonna go take a shower, go to sleep, and the goal will be for a fairly early start tomorrow, not because I'm in any kind of rush, but because I know it will be hot later in the day, and if I can get up near Mexican Hat before it gets too hot, that'll be great. It's about 160 miles or so to the border from here. We'll go from there and we'll see what happens. So I will see you in the morning. Cameron Trading Post, pretty friggin' excellent place to stay. If you're looking for a nice reset day, there are worse places for sure. Okay, 152 miles basically to the border, and then another 188-ish of road to Mexican Hat. Let's do this thing. Can't fly the drone. Drones are not permitted anywhere on the Navajo Reservation, so just don't do it. So this is basically the far east end of the Grand Canyon, right here. And it's still pretty impressive. The Little Colorado River. so pretty out here. There's 
so much more that we could have done for Native peoples. They're struggling with, you know, 40% unemployment, high crime rates, high substance abuse rates. Basically, the government's position was shuffle them off in a corner. We did finally at least get a Secretary of the Interior who is a Native person. Shouldn't have taken until 2020, but there's a lot we need to do better at. That's the thing. I love, I love my country. I love the United States. It doesn't mean we get it right. It doesn't mean that we're, there's not ways to do better. And that's all that I'm asking for. Do better. Try to do better. You know, coming across here. Get your permit. Be respectful of other people's lands. Because our ancestors weren't. They weren't respectful of other people's land at all. God, what? it's just perfect. There's like no wind. It's in the high 60s, I think. Yeah, 68, I think is what that says. It's just perfect. This is so pretty. I love the Four Corners area. Monument Valley, Valley of the Gods. I'm gonna go up Moki Dugway, so that'll be cool. I haven't done that before. But yeah, it is stunningly beautiful out here. Thankfully, Navajo people and some others are able to kind of take advantage of the tourism for Grand Canyon and all of that stuff, because they deserve it. In a lot of ways, I kind of feel like all of the funding from Grand Canyon, all of the money that Grand Canyon makes, should go to the Navajo. I mean, hell, they used to live in the Grand Canyon. There's some horses. Not sure if they'll be wild or not. They certainly could be. We have a very... Hi, buddy. You're a pretty one. So I wasn't able to do this in 2020 because the entire Navajo reservation was shut down. Um, you couldn't even go inside the buildings. And they're still super cautious on COVID. You still have to wear a mask indoors everywhere. You have to use hand sanitizer going into some of the buildings. Like they're still being crazy paranoid about it. And I cannot blame them at all but everything is open again, so there's at least that. Because having taken the tourist money hit of having to shut everything down, God, that had to be so bad. Yeah, Cameron Trading Post was closed last time we came through. The gas stations, you couldn't even go inside. You had to just pay it pump and move on. Uh, had to go through the Burger King drive through <laughs> to get food, you know, like it was, it was bad. That was in May of 2020 though. So I mean, that was peak holy for a lot of this area. So I'm really glad that things are better now. And I get to do the off-road stuff. Cause this is gorgeous. Big dip, boink. I would love to fly my drone around in here, but don't have the permits for it. So I'm not going to. It's beautiful as it is. This reminds me of Wyoming. I mean, the rocks are prettier colors, but the terrain and the trails are very Wyoming-esque. You know, just kind of fun, flowy two-track. this bike it just it's as close to perfect as I've ever found it fixes all of the problems that I had with the 690 the only thing that I would like it to be is 50 pounds lighter 
see, I'm one of those weirdos that would live out here. Obviously, I would, you know, I wouldn't buy land because I'm not native. But something like this, I would not be opposed to living out here. So that's slow. I'm assuming somebody's properties out here or something. Or is there like a? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I bet you they've had a couple of good ones on that turn. That's the guys from yesterday. <laughs> he was trying to do a wheelie. Yeah, I ran into those guys at the gas station yesterday. Went and got my permit and was coming back through and saw them pulled over in the gas station. So I pulled over and said hi. They unfortunately lost one of their group yesterday to section five, some of those sudden rock gardens, and he had a pretty bad one and hurt his shoulder pretty bad. That sucks, but it definitely happens. That's cool that they were able to get that big of a group together to do this ride, because it's a ton of fun, and it's definitely better to do it with friends. It's just always hard to get you know, schedules and stuff to line up. Bicycle? I think it's a bicycle. How's it going? What route are you guys following? Uh, Western Wildlands. Oh, cool. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is part of the route. Hopefully, we'll make it. <laughs> we started at the Mexican Arizona. Nice, okay. I saw, I, I hiked a big section of the CDT last year, and so I saw a bunch of the mountain bikers for that. But I hadn't seen many bikers on this route, so. Uh, no. What do you do? So the Arizona BDR Backcountry Discovery Route. Oh. Wow. It starts at Coronado National Monument at the Mexican border and goes all the way to the Utah border. It's basically just uh, dirt roads that go all the way through Arizona and kind of highlight the beauty of the state. Yeah. You guys only have a couple days left then, huh? Uh, today I should yeah, because oh, wow. it's only it's a hundred miles to the border. So, well, cool. You guys doing good or need anything or? Are you part of the whole group? No, I, I met them yesterday, but they were doing the same route. So they finished yesterday and now they're heading back. Oh, wow. Um, they're heading back to Phoenix, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, you can cover a lot of ground on one of these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you got... It's a battery pack for the camera so that it'll keep recording. So I do YouTube and stuff like that. Hang on. I got stickers in here. I can give you one. Oh, well, Jenny's the one for stickers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's perfect. All right, I'm going to start covering up my Alaskan one. <laughs> Where are you guys from? I'm from the UK. Yeah. Alaska. Germany. Nice. I'm from Colorado originally, so this is a little bit more familiar to me. <laughs> it's very different to what I need. Mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I had to explain to somebody one time when I did the CDT, they're like, so, cause, so they were from the UK, or actually they were from Ireland, and they're like, how, how far is that? I'm like, go from the southern tip of the UK to the northern port of Ireland and halfway back. <laughs> they're like, and it's all dirt? Like, 90%. Like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like, yeah, man, uh, and that's the short way across America. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm really glad that people are putting these routes together to allow us to piece together a bunch of dirt roads. And yeah, all right, well, I'll get out of your way and let you go back to quiet. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, no, after hiking the CDT, I always stop and check on people because you never know. Sometimes you run into somebody, it's like, dude, I just ran out of water. Do you have anything? <laughs> have a good one. Enjoy your trip. Good luck. Rocky, there we go. 
rocks. Ah. Let's see, we got 72 miles. See lots of lizards crossing the road. I would imagine they're sunning themselves until I spook them. This is a little bit more technical than all the other stuff. It's still, I mean, just a ton of fun. There's nothing really difficult to it. You just gotta pay attention a little more. little loose in some places, so you can't really avoid the rut. Oh, yeah, that's sandy. It's all crisscrossing. Big one. All right. Glad I saw that coming. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of the closest this has had to a technical climb. Please. Thank you. Yeah, some little soft bits and some rocks, but what's new? It's just Arizona. Otherwise, the riding's really fun. That's a little looser than normal. Let's go there and over here. There we go. I can definitely see where the other bike group went through. I mean, it's a little deep. Um, because they were all kind of zigzagging back and forth across here. I think they were pretty much all on mid-sized bikes. I think there was maybe two people on 1200s. Most of them were on KTMs. There was one KLR. God, yeah, it's just so beautiful back in here. It really sucks that we had to miss this the first time. So, I mean, yeah, there's, there's like little short technical bits, but none of it's real bad. You just gotta be paying attention. It's really just fun riding, you know? It's warming up. It's up to 75 with just being, you know, in direct sunlight, so it's actually kind of warm. And working a little bit harder, so I'm actually sweating now. Horses. My pretty horses. Didn't mean to make a run, sorry. There's a whole bunch of them. They're just over the hill here. There y'all are. Hi. Yeah, they're you're like, nope. <laughs> See ya. Oh, there's the pavement. you know 200 foot drop off oh there's rafters down there cool no jumping yeah i guarantee you they do uh i want to say they do a, a day where they do base jumping off of that but don't quote me
Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. Once I finish up here, it's 188 miles to Mexican Hat, but it's almost all paved and big wide open roads, so that won't be a problem. thousand feet to the finish. Ta-da! Alright, that is the Arizona BDR. That is State Line Campground, which is the end of the Arizona Trail. It is time to get into Utah and Mexican Hat.